Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing good. I am here again with another OIT letter. Let's see how we can tackle this OIT letter. So let's read together. You are an asthma nurse at Hilltown Medical Clinic. You are assessing a 13 year old boy who has worsening asthma. Patient details, name Lucas Hardy, date of birth is given 19th. 2006 that means age of 13 the height and weight is given address is given so social background lives with mother parents recently divorced sees father weekends father smokes 10 to 20 cigarettes per day mother is a marketing manager father software engineer recently moved home and started at new secondary school then family history mother has nasal polyps and eczema brothers has asthma and dust mite allergy. Then the medical background. So from here you have to see what all information you have to collect to write the letter. Can we check? So of course the patient name, age. Then the lives with the mother we can write in the social history and their divorce. Do we need the job of the parents? No need. And it's an important thing, recently moved home and started new secondary school. Maybe it can be affected his condition. So it's near. Then history of mother, no need. Then brothers, asthma, we can just include. Let's move on to the medical background. He has asthma since age 5. Then two severe attacks, hospital admissions in 2012 and 2013. No surgeries. Chicken box in 2007, scarlet fever 2008. Then the medications are Ventolin and Bidicinoid and Sarmetrol. So from here we can tell the, when he started this asthma attacks and there was hospitalization episodes there. The surgery and chicken box and no need. Then the treatment Ventolin and we have to mention. Then the treatment record. So 27 February 2019. He brought to surgery by mother, reports SOB, that means shortness of breath, chest tightness, red streak from and disturbed sleep, increasing when in use, new home or school, okay, missing old friends. Here we have to include the symptoms, how he came and what are the when in use increase, that is a important thing we have to include. Then other fact is that now in football team at school practice twice a week then misses beauty snowed most of the time. That is an important thing. We have to inform them he misses his doses of beauty snowed. Then the objective exam. During assessment what all things we have found. Some conjunctival congestion. Then expiratory wheeze. Heart rate of 80. BP is normal. Temperature normal. Peak flow 280. 70 percentage of personal burst. Then the treatment discuss stress triggers, keep peak flow diary including for following exercise because he is in the team. So ensure compliance with the budisinoid review in two weeks. Then on 16th March 2019 he came for review. Peak flow diary found not complete. Peak flow today 260. Before it was 280. Forgets to take budesinoid requiring increased use of Vendolin. Inhaler technique assessed. That is good. X-ray requested and full blood count also requested. Then the plan. Assess for risk taking behaviors, depression, anxiety, take peak flow, following exercise. Then another thing, create action plan for worsening symptoms. Refer to specialist, review medication. So what are the, what is the writing task? Using the information given in the case notes, write a letter of referral to Dr. Porter, a respiratory specialist for further management of Lucas Hardy's asthma. Address the letter to Dr. Michael Porter, respiratory specialist, Hilltown Hospital, 55 Well Road, Hilltown. So from the writing task, we understood our reader is a respiratory specialist and his name is Dr. Michael Porter. So, what is our request? We require the further management of Lucas Hardy's asthma. That's why we are referring to him. So, mostly 
we have to include the relevant information regarding this asthma and chest infections or any respiratory problems to the respiratory test. No need to mention about the chicken pox or scarlet fever. It was happened in the past and nothing to be carried out now. So let's see an example how we can write it. So address Dr. Michael Porter, respiratory specialist, Hilltown Hospital, Hilltown. The date is 16th March 2019. Dear Dr. Porter, reference Lucas Hardy, date of birth is given 19 February 2019. Why we didn't use any salutation here for Lucas Hardy because his age is only 13 years. If less than 17, we never use any salutation. So, how we can write an introduction? I am writing to request an urgent visit for Lucas Hardy. Or you can write also, I am writing to refer Lucas Hardy who has worsening symptoms of asthma, requires an expert assessment and management then he is not discharged no we are just referring him to the respiratory therapist so we don't want to write he is being discharged today like that okay because we are just referring him to the respiratory therapist when he is in the hospital itself then we can start from the beginning itself so we, he will get a clear picture Lucas has had asthma at the age of 5 or since age 5 and was hospitalized in 2000 and 2003 following severe asthma attacks. Then he is on budesonide 200 mics and salmetrol 50 microgram both to be taken twice daily along with vendolin as required. Then we can write here initially Lucas brought to the clinic on 27 February 2019 with compliance of shortness of breath. Otherwise, you can write breathing difficulty, uh, tightness of the chest, red streak phlegm and insomnia. His mother reported that he often misses budesonoid and an increased dose of vendolin inhaler was noticed. Then on physical examination or you can write on assessment. Conjunctival congestion and expiratory visas were noticed and his peak expiratory flow was 280. Consequently, he was discussed regarding stress triggers and advised to maintain a peak flow diary following exercise. In addition, he needs to ensure compliance with the budesonoid and review was scheduled after 2 weeks. That one we can write after 14 days like that to avoid the copying of this uh, case notes you, we can just paraphrase it okay then next para today lucas represented to the clinic with an incomplete peak flow diary his in inhaler technique was found good and peak flow of 260 he forgets budesonoid along with excessive use of vendolin was noticed therefore he was recommended to perform x-ray and full blood count can mention he is in now in a football team at New Secondary School and practice football twice in a week. His brother has asthma and dust allergies, or you can write family history of asthma and dust allergies like that. Then considering the above, your immediate consultation would be highly beneficial for Lucas to assess risk-taking behaviors. Kindly review his medication and peak flow following exercise and create an action plan for worsening symptoms of Lucas. Then you are concluding. Please do hesitate. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any queries regarding Lucas. Otherwise, you can write. Please do contact me if you have any queries regarding Lucas. You are sincerely asking us. So, what do you think? Is it easy to write? Just take the relevant information for the reader and write it in your own words. Don't copy the same way. You can just paraphrase or in reordering the don't write on the same okay thank you for supporting me and keep watch on my channel so please share with your friends also to get benefits from my channel thank you